ShireSociety.com. It may have been only the second bad experience I ever had with a cop. When I was filming the scene of a police murder, a murder of a policeman, I was on the right side, uh, the legal side, of the yellow crime scene tape. But yet, for some reason, a Texas Ranger approached me and threatened to arrest me, I'm not even sure what for. I know I don't remember, it may have just had, had something to do with being too close to the yellow tape. But anyway, there was a day when the Texas Rangers were maybe not nicer, but they had a reputation of being impressive. There was that saying, one riot, one ranger. Supposedly it came from a Texas Ranger who was uh, breaking up a KKK riot uh, by himself. I sometimes wonder if that philosophy could or maybe should be applied to liberty activism in New Hampshire. So many times people think they have to group a bunch of people together to have an event or to get anything done. I'm not saying everyone does this, but there's just a, a, a little bit of a bias towards that. Well, my thinking is that, in many cases, instead of having one protest with 50 people at it, you might almost be better at having 50 different protests with one person at them. That way, uh, you're seen by a larger number of people, and you probably don't waste as much time coordinating with others. So, for instance, let's say there were a, a big crackdown on the Bundy Ranch. All of a sudden, one day, uh, that issue has sprung to life again because the feds have acted badly. Well, instead of, uh, you know, consulting with others as to what you think should be done and then maybe posting something on Facebook and trying to organize a group of people to be in, where should they be again? We're not sure. We're thinking about it. And you're coordinating and talking to others. Just individually, everyone goes out and engages the enemy peaceably. So for me, what I'm, you know, at least tentatively planning to do if that kind of thing happens is just go to the nearest federal building myself with a sign. Uh, and urging other people to do the same, their nearest federal building or other federal facility. And uh, if you just had a large number of very small protests, I think that actually would be more effective than having one protest with a lot of people at it. It might even be better if uh, the protests are not, you know, simultaneous, again, because there's no coordination necessary. Alternatively, what if we had, you know, instead of just these like, rare meetings of the Manchester Board of Aldermen where some free staters show up in force, what if you just went to the nearest government meeting on a frequent basis by yourself and ambush interviewed politicians with a camera or did something maybe that you're more comfortable with if you don't like that? What can you do by yourself? Shouldn't you be spending 90% of your time engaging the enemy instead of 90% of your activist time engaging other activists? We've already moved our units to our other units, which I guess is the first step, you know, in a conflict. They're in New Hampshire, so now they should be engaging peaceably the enemy rather than each other. And that can be done at the highest efficiency if you only do that and don't do any engaging with other activists. Well, to speak of. You know, just, just the minimum to, to get you the information you need to be active with on a particular thing. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Here's, here's another example. What if instead of 70 of us descending on Concord City Hall one night there were there was one of us descending on Concord City Hall seventy during those seventy different meetings and doing whatever peaceable thing we do best. I just I think it would be better. There's still a place, there always will be a place for big events with large numbers of people and coordination and working with other activists, but I think we bias too strongly in favor of that in our action and too weakly in favor of individual action. Maybe we're not libertarians enough. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, 
the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.